hydraulics isn't just about high pressure oil. It's hydraulics is really fluids. So, all right. Weekend lesson. Thought I'd come in and do some work on a uh, pool pump of mine that was making a hell of a racket about a week ago. Didn't know what was going on. I just knew it didn't sound like it normally sounds. So I uh, stopped it, checked the filter, checked a few bits and pieces. That's the filter. Yeah. Filter was pretty clean. I did notice some white abrasive material inside the bottom of the pump. But you can still see there's still some in the bottom there. Uh, looks like the pool guys have added some form of chemical or stabiliser. Usually they add it at the skimmer box and you know it goes through the pump and uh, eventually gets dissolved through the filter from water flow but in this case um, probably added a bit too much or over the years of adding you know abrasives like salt and or chlorine or stabilizer or uh, uh, caustic, whatever's required. What's happened is that this is the impeller, you know, that rotates at high speed, oh, about a, a thousand, fourteen hundred RPM, maybe up to twenty eight hundred RPM. But what I noticed when I started to pull the pump down was. There's a piece missing out of there, which would have caused an imbalance, but you can also see all this wear here. Um, and this fits, this rotates inside what they call a diffuser. And what you can also see here, the, the abrasives have actually worn into the diffuser as well. So any pressure generated out here, instead of coming out through these here, these little vents here, as the impeller rotates in here, it creates centrifugal force, which then forces it out here. It was probably leaking through these and back to the outside. You can actually see air through there. So it was probably not running very efficiently either. So I've ordered some new parts. Um, was recommended to order a new mechanical seal or to check the mechanical seal. So I checked the mechanical seal. Um, this is what the mechanical seal looked like. It was in pretty poor state, um, very corroded. Um, still got some spring in it. And that's supposed to rotate up against this ceramic face here. So I could probably clean it up and put it back in, you know, but for the cost of $25, $30 for a new mechanical seal, um, I decided to order a new seal. A new diffuser, another $25, $30. Bucks. And a new impeller. So you can see the difference in the wear. I mean, that's look at the wall thickness there on that intake on the new impeller, and look at the wall thickness on that one. You know, there's just nothing left, and that's probably why we had a balance issue. Anyway, so hydraulics isn't just about high pressure oil. It's hydraulics is really fluids. So this water pump is has a one and a half horsepower motor um, but it it's designed to flow large volumes at very very low pressures you know for example at at about um, 30 psi it will flow 150 liters of water per minute but if you reduce that pressure, in other words, you don't have to push it through very far or a clean filter, for example, 
it could pump up to 450 litres per minute of water. So I bought this pump maybe three, four years ago, so it's done a lot of work, you know, running approximately eight hours every day. So it's pumped a massive, massive amount of um, water, eight hours a day, 400, you know, probably running around 200 to 300 litres per minute, eight hours a day, just do the, do the math, it's millions and millions of litres that this pump has done in its uh, four years of operation. Um, I'll do the math very, very quickly. Let's just see. Just assume it's running 250 litres per minute, eight hours a day for four years, 365 days, times eight hours, times 60 minutes, times four years, times 300, 210 million litres approximately. It's done in its four years of life. So it's done pretty good for itself. Um, and that's a slightly chlorinated, slightly salinated, yeah, most of the pools um, in Australia, I think more of the modern pools now actually run a, a very salt, a, a very lightly salinated water, almost the salinity of a teardrop, supposedly, um, very, you know, uh, lower concentrations of chlorine. Um, and they they run chlorinators that actually convert the salt into chlorine through a um, um, running an electrical current over titanium plates. That's all I know about these chlorinators. But um, much better for your eyes than running fresh water, clean fresh water, and higher concentrations of chlorine. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm going to put this pump together, so I just wanted to show you that hydraulics isn't only just about 5,000, 6,000 psi at 60 litres a minute. It can be 30 psi at 300 litres a minute with a lot less horsepower, obviously. I'll take you over to the next little project that we're working on. Okay, the other thing we do is high pressure water units. This one here is probably going to see its life cleaning drains. Uh, it's got a uh, heavy duty air filter on it so it probably tells me it's going somewhere where it's going to be probably pretty dusty and agricultural. Um, it's a petrol engine manufactured by Kohler in the US. It's a V-twin rated to 32 shaft horsepower um, probably rotating around sort of the 3000 RPM something like that. Uh, this pump, I think this pump's rated to produce about 4000 psi and 33 litres per minute of flow um, in American speak, 33 litres of flow divided by four, so probably about eight, yeah, eight gallons a minute, uh, US gallons that is. Um, three piston unit, three, has three horizontal reciprocating pistons in here. Pistons are made from a, a ceramic material. Uh, obviously, it's probably designed to run between 1,000 and 1,400 RPM. But if you've got an engine that's designed to produce the power it does at 3000 RPM, you're going to need a gearbox of some sort. So here's the gearbox there. It's a reduction gearbox. So small gear in here, large gear in here. And I think the reduction ratio is about 2.1 to 1. So taking you know 3000 PSI and reducing it down to around the 1400 PSI that this pump is designed to run on. So these pumps are obviously designed to run, um, be run by electric motors, but if you don't have electric motors out on site, this is what you've got to do. Uh, this unit here also has electric start. It's 
got its own remote oil filter. Uh, it's got a low oil level alarm. Um, throttle control, choke control. The only thing I don't like about this, I only just realised this when we mounted the muffler, is that the exhaust is going to exhaust straight onto the top of this um, piston and crankcase, which is probably not so clever. So we may have to go to an exhaust shop and get an exhaust to deflect or ex extend this out to the right, to the left, sorry, or deflect it out over the top of this pump. Um, so, when we're talking hydraulics, again, it's not just high pressure oil, uh, we've high pressure water, so we've got 32 horsepower reduction gearbox producing 33 litres, 8 gallons per minute at 4,000 psi. We've got a little pump over here, one and a half horsepower, massive flow, um, 300 litres per minute, you know, if you like, 80 or so gallons per minute, but a very low pressure, around sort of 15 to 30 psi of water pressure. What we've also got is Our little petrol powered Honda unit here, single cylinder, 13 horsepower, running a baby, baby, baby gear pump. There's our oil reservoir there. Don't know if you can see that very well. So there's about um, 40 litres of oil in here, but this little unit here will produce about 3,000 psi. At 20 litres per minute, yeah, or around seven, seven gallons per minute. This is actually our test bench that we've got this pump on. So after we've rebuilt or resealed a motor or a hydraulic cylinder or a ram, we'll actually test them on the bench just to make sure that they're up to the pressure and will do what's required. So nothing really leaves this shop unless it's been tested. Um, up to its operating pressures. We'll um, put the cylinders through a full pressure test, even stroking it in and out under maximum pressure as well, just to make sure that the full length and the full stroke in and out at 3000 psi, everything's okay. Mm -hmm.